Police officers come from all walks of life. Some start their careers right out of college, some enter the workforce before transitioning to law enforcement, while others serve in our nation's military first. Young men and women from a variety of backgrounds and with very different life experiences come together to form a diverse group, all dedicated to pursuing one of the most rewarding professions in public safety. In the suburban Chicago area, members of this diverse group of people come together to participate in 16 weeks of intense training at the Suburban Law Enforcement Academy. Hello, my name is Jim Volpe. I'm the director of the Suburban Law Enforcement Academy, otherwise known as CELIA. Located on the main campus of College of DuPage in Glen Ellen, Illinois, CELIA has been training police officers and sheriff's deputies since 1994. We are rapidly approaching our 100th academy class, 25th anniversary, and proudly graduating over 4,000 police recruits. In fact, some members of our first academy classes are beginning to retire after over 20-year careers in law enforcement. This video represents a typical day in the life of one of our recruits. We hope to give you a good idea of what to expect here at Celia. We are one of only seven police academies in the entire state certified by the Illinois State Training Board, otherwise known as Let's Be. Every police officer, trooper, and sheriff's deputy in Illinois is trained at one of these seven academies. We run four 16-week classes each year. Each class typically has 60 to 75 police recruits. Three times a year, we have a two-week overlap between classes with upwards of 120 recruits in the building from two classes at the same time. All of our recruits are full-time employees of state, county, and local police agencies from all over Illinois. They have already been hired by a police department when they start here. We are what's known as a commuter academy, meaning most of our recruits come here in the morning and leave to go home in the evening. This mimics the real world of policing, where officers have to allow for traffic and the weather. They have to make sure they arrive on time for their shift. We have no housing or dormitories here at Celia, but some of our recruits who live a distance away do spend the week in nearby hotels. We administer the standard 560 hour curriculum mandated by the state of Illinois. Every Monday morning, there is a written test that covers the material that was taught the week before. Recruits must maintain a 70% minimum average in order to take the three-hour cumulative written certification test, which is administered by ILETSBE on the morning of graduation day. We follow a highly structured training model here at Celia. One, two, three, Police four, departments and sheriff's offices four, nine, throughout the United seven, States are organized in a paramilitary five, fashion. It is the most good. efficient and effective way to train. We'll teach you how to think independently, assess situations critically, and solve problems. But you'll also know how to work as part of a well-disciplined team. Everything we do here is by design. Everything. There is a system in place to help teach and train recruits in the most efficient, effective, and safest manner possible. We do improve upon techniques from time to time, always open to new technology and innovations. But the reality is many of the time-tested traditional methods have proven to be quite successful. Every police officer working today has gone through an almost identical police academy at the start of their career. Approximately two weeks before day one at the academy, recruits must pass the Illinois Peace Officer Wellness Evaluation Report, or power test, here at Celia. Recruits must be able to complete a timed mile and a half run bench press a certain weight, do a certain number of sit-ups, and show flexibility on the sit and reach test. The parameters are dependent on both your age and gender. The minimum performance scores are set by a Let's Be rules and can be found online. The power test standards are the minimum requirements to participate in police training. You need to be in excellent physical shape. Chasing a suspect and then potentially fighting and taking him into custody is demanding. By the time you leave here, you'll be in the best physical shape of your life. Recruits attend the academy Monday through Friday for 16 consecutive weeks. The training days start early. At 5.30 a.m., recruits arrive for physical training, or PT, three days a week, usually Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We exercise hard from 6 to 7 a.m. 
class warms up, does calisthenics, runs, and does a wide variety of other physical activities in order to build strength, increase endurance, and help prevent injuries. Recruits are expected to bring strike gloves, jump rope, wrestling shoes, running shoes, and cross trainers to PT each morning. The Academy uniform package includes sweatpants, shorts, t-shirts, and sweatshirts. At 7 a.m., PT is over, and recruits have 45 minutes to shower, dress, and get across the street to the Robert J. Miller Homeland Security Education Center, home of Celia. On Tuesday and Thursday mornings, when there is no PT, we typically have uniform inspections, especially the first few weeks. Meticulous attention to detail in the academy is critical. It sets the standard for the rest of an officer's career. A professional, squared away appearance instills confidence in the public we serve. On day one of the academy, recruits report at 6 a.m. that Monday morning in plain white long sleeve dress shirts. Everyone is dressed the same. They remain that way for the first few days until their academy uniforms are issued. Beginning the end of week two, the class learns how to properly wear their gray academy uniform shirts with their class number and names every day. Crisp, ironed, and squared away and they'll do that every day for the next two months. Beginning in week 11 and until graduation, the class will transition to wearing their agency-issued long-sleeve uniforms and ties. Each academy class creates their own motto, and it's shouted in unison whenever the class is called to attention and formation. This builds a strong sense of spirit. At 8 a.m. sharp every single day, the class starts with formation, and the Pledge of Allegiance. We always take the time to solemnly honor officers who have died in the line of duty and prepare for the busy day ahead. Sadly, we will lose over 30 police officers in the United States over the course of a training academy class. For most police officers, no two work days are exactly alike. The same is true at the academy. Every day is different, with a variety of topics covered each week. On Friday afternoons, recruits have defensive tactics training, where a variety of skills are taught in the mat room, including handcuffing, prisoner searching, counter strikes, ground fighting, pressure points, weapon retention, escorts, joint locks, knee strikes, and use of the police baton. These are the building blocks we use to train recruits to become police officers. 16 weeks is broken down into three phases. Phase one is from the first day to the end of week five. The first two weeks getting acclimated and almost all of it is in the classroom, with the exception of PT and defensive tactics. In fact, our academy classroom looks just like every other college classroom here at College of DuPage. Phase two consists of weeks six through 10. Weeks six and seven are spent on the firearms range. Weeks eight, nine, and 10 have more work in the classroom, but also some hands-on practical exercises and scenario-based training. Weeks 11 through 16 are phase three, which includes traffic stops, crimes in progress, and courtroom testimony. The last four weeks is when we tie everything together. Our classroom and lecture curriculum covers important topics you would expect, such as constitutional law, use of force, crisis intervention, de-escalation techniques, homeland security, law enforcement ethics, procedural justice, criminal law, civil rights, the Illinois Vehicle Code, traffic crash investigation, community relations, crime scene investigation, hazardous materials, crime prevention, cultural diversity, report writing, courtroom testimony, Fourth Amendment laws of search and seizure, neurobiology of trauma, juvenile law, evidence processing, narcotics enforcement, gang intelligence, domestic violence, mental illness and non-normative behavior, child abuse, CPR, emergency first aid, standardized field sobriety tests, and DUI enforcement. The Certified Academy curriculum is broken down into learning objectives or blocks. There are 75 individual areas of instruction to cover in just three and a half months. No doubt, there is a lot to learn. Each recruit is issued a laptop computer by the academy to access information and take notes. Recruits do everything together as a class. This helps build camaraderie and stresses the importance of teamwork that will serve recruits well when they return to their agencies. 
We take a 10 minute break every hour to use the restroom or grab a snack. Recruits have a break room with coffee, but have to remain inside the academy at all times. There are no telephone calls, and we are on a tobacco-free campus, so there's absolutely no smoking breaks. At 12 noon, recruits get 30 minutes for lunch together as a class here on campus, and then an activity. Everyone brings their lunch as there is not enough time to leave campus. This helps ensure healthy food choices, too. Each class is self-governing, meaning they elect their own class officers, president, vice president, treasurer, etc., to help foster leadership and organizational skills. The class and each individual recruit develop self-discipline and problem solving and making decisions together using teamwork. While the academy instructors and class officers are important, it is the class supervisors who interact with the recruits on a daily basis. Police departments who send us their recruits take turns detailing a veteran officer from their agency to us for the entire 16 weeks. Oftentimes, the supervisors actually attended Celia years ago. Each supervisor is responsible for approximately 25 recruits. The class supervisors are experienced law enforcement officers who are the first ones here before the recruits arrive in the morning and the last to leave the building after the day is done. They directly supervise the recruits, providing training, counseling, and advice along the way. They help motivate and evaluate the recruits on a daily basis, making sure they develop good officer safety habits and self-discipline. The training day typically ends at 5 p.m. Recruits work together to straighten up their classroom and break room before they leave for the evening. It's a point of pride. In a few weeks, their squad car will be their office and they will be expected to keep that clean and organized as well. Then they come back early the next morning to do it all again. Some of our recruits participate in voluntary study groups after the day is over. Some take advantage of our excellent reading and writing academic support center at the College of DuPage, and some get in a quick workout at the Chaparral Fitness Center. We offer a variety of optional elective classes here at Celia on Saturday mornings throughout the course in conjunction with Northeast Multi-Regional Training for an additional fee. They can complete a 40-hour online juvenile officer class with a three-hour review and test on a Saturday morning toward the end of the academy. We also host an eight-hour taser certification class on a Saturday morning, as well as a four-hour officer safety class entitled Below 100, where we stress the importance of good tactics and habits to reduce the number of officers killed in the U.S. each year to below 100. One of our most popular optional Saturday morning classes is how the law enforcement career affects family life. Recruits bring their parents, siblings, spouses, or significant others to hear from experts in the field about how policing can impact off-duty home life. Policing is a very rewarding career, but we know that the job can be stressful and the demands placed on an officer can take a toll on their well-being. Law enforcement academies have a responsibility to help recruits prepare to cope with the pressures of their work. We discuss a wide range of topics focused on total overall wellness from day one, physical fitness and nutrition guidance to peer counseling, PTSD, psychological concerns, and the risks associated with substance abuse. Studies have shown that when officers' physical and mental health issues go unaddressed, job performance declines, and decision-making abilities are impaired. Maintaining officer wellness is directly tied to being effective. It all starts here at the Academy. In the end, we hold a graduation ceremony on Friday afternoon of week 16. Friends and family gather to congratulate the recruits and take pictures. It's a very special day for the recruits and for the Academy staff. Graduation does not signify the end of a recruit's training though, oh no. It actually marks a transition to the field training portion. Most recruits will return to their home agencies to go on patrol partnered with a series of experienced policed field training officers, or FTOs, for another 14 to 20 weeks. Under the watchful eye of their FTOs, they will work every shift and a variety of beats or zones in order to put into practice what they've learned while at the academy. Spirit, leadership, effort, and attitude, S-L-E-A. That's the Suburban Law Enforcement Academy. 
I hope this video has given you an idea of what a typical day is like here at the Police Academy. Thank you for watching.